Hemophilia is also called as classic hemophilia or hemophilia A. This is the second most common hereditary disorder next to von Willebrand's disease, occurring due to deficiency of factor VIII. The mode of inheritance is mainly as an X-linked recessive trait and therefore manifests in males while females are the carriers. The levels of factor VIII are less among the women carriers. True female hemophiliacs are seen in consanguinity with the family. Hemophilia is classified based on the severity as mild, moderate, and severe hemophilia. The worldwide prevalence of hemophilia A and hemophilia B has been estimated at 1 is to 10,000. Here is the table illustrating the types of hemophilia A based on the severity, factor VIII clotting activity, symptoms, and usual age of diagnosis. According to the International Society in Thrombosis and Hemostasis, or ISTH, in severe hemophilia, the factor VIII clotting activity is less than 1%, with frequent spontaneous bleeding and abnormal bleeding after minor injuries, surgery or tooth extractions, and the usual age of diagnosis is less than or equal to two years. In moderate hemophilia, the factor VIII clotting activity is between 1% to 5%, with rare spontaneous bleeding and abnormal bleeding after minor injuries, surgery or tooth extractions, and the age of diagnosis is less than five to six years. In mild hemophilia, the factor VIII clotting activity is more than 5% and less than 40% with no spontaneous bleeding. The age of diagnosis is usually later in life, depending on hemostatic challenges. Hemophilia is a heterogeneous disorder resulting from a defect of the factor VIII gene that leads to absent or reduced circulating levels of factor VIII. The mutation occurs in the factor VIII gene, located on the long arm of the X chromosome. The alterations include missing mutations, abnormal splicing of the gene, deletions of all or portions of the gene, and insertion of genetic elements. The clinical features of hemophilia include hemarthrosis, deep muscle hematomas, intracranial bleeding in the absence of major trauma, neonatal cephalohematoma, and prolonged oozing, prolonged or delayed bleeding, hematuria, menorrhagia, prolonged nosebleeds, and excessive bruising. Let's take a quick look at the laboratory findings of hemophilia A. The laboratory findings include a normal platelet count, prolonged activated partial thromboplastin time, or a PTT, normal prothrombin time, or a PT. In a male proband, the diagnosis is established by identification of the decreased factor VIII clotting activity and a normal functional von Willebrand factor level. In a female proband, the diagnosis is established by determining the low factor VIII clotting activity. The molecular genetic testing approach includes single gene testing, use of a multi-gene panel, and more comprehensive genomic testing. The single gene testing includes analysis for the intron 22 or intron 1 inversion frequently performed in individuals with severe hemophilia A or in females with a family history of severe hemophilia A. A multi-gene panel includes F8 analysis for pathogenic variants, sequence analysis, and gene-targeted deletion or duplication analysis. More comprehensive genomic testing includes exome sequencing and genome sequencing, can be considered if serial single gene testing fails to confirm a diagnosis in an individual with features of hemophilia A. The management of hemophilia A should be aimed at the management of hemostasis, management of bleeding episodes by local measures which include applying direct pressure, elevation, or ice compresses, management of factor replacement products and adjuvant medications. This includes infusion of fresh whole blood, whole plasma, fresh frozen plasma, cryoprecipitate, factor VIII or IX concentrate, and recombent factor VII. Medical management, which includes administration of desmopressin, 
administration of antifibrillinitics, like EACA. We will now discuss the next hemostatic disorder, that is hemophilia B. Hemophilia B is also called as Christmas disease. It is named after the first patient in whom it was described. It is an X-linked disorder. The rate of occurrence is 1 to 100,000 male births. The genetic abnormalities are partial and total deletions, missense mutations, all of which decrease the factor 9. The factor 9 gene is located on the long arm of the X chromosome. Based on the severity, hemophilia B is classified as mild, moderate, and severe. Mild hemophilia B is associated with factor 9 levels, ranging from 5 to 50 percent. Moderate hemophilia is associated with factor 9 levels of 1 to 5 percent. Individuals with severe hemophilia have factor 9 levels less than 1 percent of normal. The clinical features of hemophilia B are indistinguishable from hemophilia A, and these include hemarthrosis, hematoma, hematuria. The laboratory findings of hemophilia B are PT is normal, APTT is prolonged, and prolonged coagulation time. The management of hemophilia B involves infusion of either fresh frozen plasma or plasma enriched with factor 8 or 9. Here is the table illustrating the recommended hemostatic levels in hemophilia. As per the World Federation of Hemophilia, in mild hemorrhage, the hemophilia target is 30 to 40 percent. In mucosal hemorrhage, the hemophilia target is 30 to 40 percent with epsilon aminocaproic acid. In major hemorrhage, the hemophilia target is more than 50 percent. And in life-threatening hemorrhage or perioperative management, the hemophilia target is 100 percent.